Hello, this is a reading for all signs. Keep in mind this is a general collective reading. It's not a personal, so use your intuition to know if it's for you. It's also a timeless reading, which means it shouldn't matter when I create it or post the reading. Could be from a year from now. When you see the reading, that's when you are supposed to see the reading. Okay, what is this reading about, spirits? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Stuck energy. This is number eight, which could mean abundance is coming. Plus there is a rainbow there. So I feel like for those of you who have felt stuck, who have felt like you're trying to move forward in a situation and you're stuck in the mud, you are gonna be moving forward towards abundance. There, that rainbow is there because you are deserving of this. This may have to do with love because this is a number six. So you need to also get into the, the mind frame that you're deserving. You might be stuck because you have a love block and you don't feel deserving because the that card is consciousness. So it's talking about your mind frame. You need to feel that you're deserving. You're, you're putting yourself stuck in the mud by having this love block. <clears throat> so you need to feel that you're deserving of this love. Otherwise, that's what's keeping you stuck is that you don't feel deserving. Okay. Take it how it resonates. It could be money as well, but I think it's love because we have six here. Um, and you're, if you get in that mind frame where you know that you're deserving and you get, you know, you release that love block, you will have this abundance coming in, this happiness with that rainbow there. Yes, there's mountains in the background there. So there are challenges, but that is your challenge, getting over this love block. So listen to subliminals if you have to. Um, you might even need professional assistance here. You might need to go for counseling. Um, it is number seven. So if you do this, you ha will have good luck. You will move forward uh, to get abundance of love. But um, we have friends and colleagues. So you're prof you might need professional assistance. You might just need assistance from friends. Maybe colleagues, I don't know, but um, probably friends. You need to turn, turn to support uh, professionally for counseling, but also your friends. You need to also realize that you're deserving of their attention and love as well. Let's see what else, spirits. And that's friends and colleagues card is in the people category. So is the professional assistance. So I think, I think you need to also get out with friends and colleagues and have a good time, be joyful. The people there are at some kind of a, an event and they're just really having fun and they're laughing. That's gonna lift your vibrations. That's gonna help you with the situation. So, so far spirit is telling you to get out of the stuck energy you've been in you first need to realize you're deserving of everybody's attention or love. You need to get in that mind frame. You need to get professional assistance to so seek counseling, but you also need to get out with friends and colleagues and have a good time. And maybe when you get out with friends and colleagues, you meet somebody. But doing all this, using subliminals as well, is going to help you to bring in this abundance of love, this good luck when it comes to probably love. Doesn't mean you won't have other good luck coming in, but that's just not what this reading is talking about right now, at this moment in time. So get in the mind frame of deserving, get professional assistance to help with any wounds you have from the past, any love blocks. We have number 36, which breaks down to nine. So you're almost at the end of a cycle. 10 would be the end. Um, Archangel Ariel, wants to help you with this. So ask Archangel Ariel for help. And you also need to work on your second chakra. Work on your second chakra. So the things you need to do so far to get out of this stuck energy, if you feel stuck, if you feel like you're in a rut, stuck in a rut, stuck in the mud with, with regards to love, then this reading is for you and you need to realize you're deserving, seek professional assistance, hang out with friends and colleagues, Listen to subliminals on YouTube too. So you go on YouTube and in the search bar, you type in subliminal for removing love block or subliminal or hypnosis for 
healing abandonment wounds or whatever wounds you might have. We have door to value. Doing all this is your door to value. It might even be your door to money too, not just love, but also money. So maybe you have a money block too. So take it how it resonates with you. If you feel like you have a money block, you still need to feel deserving of that money. You need to seek professional assistance. There might be a need to get out with friends and colleagues, but I feel like this could be money and or love. That door to value could just be saying that by doing all this, you will get a valuable connection coming in your life. And this is your door is to do all these things. So they are telling you how to get out of this stuck energy. Like I said, that stuck energy card is number eight, which brings in abundance and there's rainbows. Yeah, you feel all tied up. You feel bound in this situation. It's a number 23, which talks about big changes. Uh, well, it breaks down to five, which talks about big changes. Plus we have number 14, which breaks down to five as well, which talks about, you know, big changes, but it says caring connection. So there's going to be big changes when it comes to your caring connection. So if you're currently with somebody, obviously this is going to help you have better connections with them. Um, you might feel bound in a situation you're stuck, you feel bound. If you're single and you feel stuck, all tied up, this is going to change. And these are the things you need to do to bring in these caring connections. We also have um, healer of the ages and that looks like Jesus there. And it's number 51, which breaks down to six. Six is love. So um, ask Jesus for help. Jesus is trying to help you. This might also be you're a light worker and you're a healer as well. Could be that as well. Take it how it resonates with you. Let's use these oracle cards here, the soul's journey lesson cards. Anything else spirits? What else do we need to know? It's an interesting reading. Gratitude. I am thankful. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So you definitely need to be expressing gratitude even for the little things, little things, big things that will help with manifesting. It lifts your vibrations. It helps these better things come in. So we're back to talking about the law of attraction a little bit here. Surrender. This is another step in, the, in, in manifesting. I can release my need to control. So you have to also, after doing this work, you need to just surrender, let go and let God go with the flow. Don't try to control the situation. What else spirits? you need to have courage. I find inner strength to face fear with confidence. So you need to have strength. You need to have courage to deal with whatever this is. You know, it's, it's, it does take strength to deal with your wounds from the past, to dig those up and heal them. They're, they're deep in there. And so sometimes they're in your subconscious. You don't even know they're there. They're just deep. We have indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. So there might be something with regards to this situation that you have been having problems making a decision on, but you need to use your intuition to help you. So maybe there, you know, there's somebody in your life that you have in mind as far as this love connection goes, and you know you need to make a decision, but you've been having trouble making that decision. And maybe that has something to do with your love block, letting fear control you, fear because you've been hurt in the past. So you need to use your intuition. Maybe your int intuition tells you you can move forward, but your fear is stopping you. That's what I'm getting from that. Let's see what else. What else is coming in for this person? If they work on these wounds, if they heal these wounds, they get professional assistance and they listen to subliminal, they sit out with friends, they express gratitude, they do all these things, ask help from Jesus, from Archangel Ariel. We know this is their door to value. So what happens if they do all this? What happens? What comes in? Or what else do they need to know? 
bigger picture here. We'll do, we're gonna break it down to six months to a year sooner when we go into the bonus extended reading. But right now we're just looking at bigger picture. What is going on here? Bigger picture, what is going on? What is coming in for the person watching if they do all this work? You need to have faith. You need to have faith that it all is gonna work out. You need to have faith that the divine has a, a plan for you. Um, have faith that you are deserving. And trust your intuition. We're back to the intuition. It says intuition there on that card. That is confirmation of this indecision. When you're trying to make this decision, trust your intuition. Trust and have faith in your intuition. Be gentle with yourself. Could be be gentle with another person as well, but be gentle with yourself, be, be at peace. There might be something happening around winter time. I see snowflakes in this card, maybe even a wedding around winter time because she's wearing a wedding dress. Be gentle with yourself. I'm not sure why they used the, um, the image of a bride with you know snowflakes and, and doves and she's got the flowers looking like it's spring. She's got like spring flowers, but there's these snowflakes. Like why would they use that for gentleness? But have hope, have faith, have hope, have faith. You trust your intuition. Something major is gonna happen for you if you do all this soon um, around winter and you're gonna find peace. You maybe even be leveling up a commitment with somebody, maybe getting married. If you're already married, then it's just maybe just finding peace within the situation. Um, you know, more love, a better connection. What else? Anything else from this deck? There is a need for you to get out in nature. If you can, you know, when the weather is decent. If it's too hot in your area, try to get out in the morning before you get ready for work or whatever, or at night. I know when I visited Arizona, it was so hot there that that's pretty much the only, the only time that they could really go places and do things was at night when it started to cool down. And then during the day, it was spent in the hot pool. <laughs> the pool water was hot because it was so hot. But that was July in um, Arizona that I visited. So yeah, we have a transition here. So you are going through a major transition right now. And this is just part of your transition is to deal with these wounds and heal them. And we do have some freedom here. So I feel like once you get through this transition, you're going to be free to maybe be who you are, be with who you want to be with. There's also like, she's holding this white bird, which I guess is a dove, could be a dove here. So like freedom and peace. It's, you're gonna feel like liberated once you release all this, um, all these wounds from the past that you've been holding for so long, all this stuck energy. So have hope, have faith, definitely trust, trust on your intuition. There's a lot of white birds in all of these cards here. So um, you've got peace coming in. You need to make peace with what happened in the past and know that that's in the past and leave it in the past. Be gentle with yourself. Get out in nature because you're going through a big transformation now. I see more snowflakes in this card too. So I do think something's going to be happening, happening in winter, maybe a marriage or a leveling up of a commitment if you do all these things now. So that is your, your advice. That is what you potentially have coming in. But we're also going to now go into a bonus extended reading. Before I talk about that, if you can, down below in the comment section, let me know if you think this is you. Do you have a love block? It could be a money block too with this door to value, but I think this is more love. This is love related, I believe. Um, especially with the, her wearing this wedding dress. We have caring connections and that's romance there. Um, and the deserving card is number six for love. 
the healer of ages is number six. So I feel like Jesus is helping you to heal your heart chakra and maybe this connection um, or some kind of angel that's healing you guys. You guys are healing. Maybe you are a healer as well. So anyway, if that all resonates with you, any of this or all of it, please let me know in the comments section. When I make these videos, you know, take the time to make them, you put them out there and you love to hear what people think, you know, it's just really good to have that connection with you guys. So I love you. Please leave a little comment if you will, and be sure to like and share the video as well. And of course, click subscribe if you're not already subscribed and the notification bell to be notified when I put out a new video. And um, to talk about the bonus extended reading, that's what we're about to get into, where I'm going to find out what's going to happen in this situation in the next six months to a year or sooner. So we're going to get a lot more details. A lot of synchronicities come out during the extended. Um, Spirit likes to show off in the extended readings. Thanks, Spirit. I think they're helping me to make my extendeds more interesting and bring more value. So... Sometimes they're just regular readings, but sometimes they get super fun. So, because of those synchronicities. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go into that. We will ask what's gonna happen in the next six months to a year or sooner with regard to this situation. Like, is there anything coming in with love in the next six months to a year or sooner? We do know winter time, but is it this winter? Is it a following winter? Um, maybe some kind of marriage here. Um, we'll pull maybe some charms. I haven't done charms in a little while. and. You know, just more advice cards and stuff like that. So we just get lots more information. So definitely it's worth a watch. If you want to watch it, go down below, click the link to my Patreon. You'll notice it's only $5.55. That's not just for this one reading. So if you're new to my channel, that actually is for exclusive access to all of the bonus extended readings that I've done up until this point and all the readings that I do going forward. So we'll give you tons and tons of bonus extended videos to watch if you want. So, and it's only $5.55. Obviously you don't have to do it month to month. You can cancel at any time, but I do appreciate those that do stay a patron month to month because that allows me to keep doing these reading and support this channel. So thank you so much for those of you who have stayed for more than one month. Um, you guys are amazing, love you. Um, and I love all of you that interact with this, who even click like, it's free, it takes a second, and it's a way to support. So thank you so much for all of your support um, as I try to get my YouTube channel built up. Um, and thank you for, you know, being a patron. Um, if you want to go watch that, again, down below in the description box, if you want a personal reading after watching these readings, if you're unsure if this energy is for you, you know, because you do still need to use your intuition, you can absolutely get a personal reading on my website, www.bossasswitch1111.com. That's four ones. That is the only place that you can order a reading from me, pay me for a reading or make donations or anything like that. Um, so know that if anybody makes an account, if you see an account that has my pictures, has my videos, so you might assume it's my account, but they ask you to pay in another way. Maybe they say that my website's not work, the website's not working or you know, ask you to go pay on WhatsApp. That's not me, that's what's called an impersonator, a scammer. Um, they do that, I have a lot on TikTok, some on Instagram, but Instagram's pretty good about taking them down, I think. TikTok is horrible about taking them down. They tick me off. I've Right now I have, since April, um, and it says that they're still, it's still pending. Now I know I've done other ones from a year ago. I don't know if they ever did anything because I never got back and said they did. When you, when you report them, they'll say, oh, we don't stand for this, but then they don't really do anything. So um, people are gonna have to get on them on that because um, it's not our fault. We can't help what other people are doing and they need to be the ones to make sure that people aren't out there trying to scam people. So anyway, um, please be careful of that. Please don't get scammed. Okay, so I'm about to go into the uh, extended for this. This I really like this reading so far. Let's find out more. 